here we are, we're on the stream. Um, it's a cool June morning, 55 degrees this morning, which is awesome. Um, high is 80, probably just gonna do some morning fishing today. But um, yeah, first things first, I'm gonna check the temperature of the stream, um, just to make sure we're good here. Should be, felt pretty cold. Okay, we're sitting at like 58, 59, not bad, not bad. Um, water level is low, um, if you can't tell already. Um, it has been for a month or two now, but at least the water's cold. Um, this stream does run low already, so I'm hoping I can find some water to fish. I know there are a couple deep pools that I'll definitely be able to get to, but just really trying to find some, some holdover stock fish, maybe some, some wild browns using a dry dropper. Gonna have to walk a, a little bit, I think, to find water, but here goes nothing. Oh, nice. That's a trout. Took the dry. That was cool. I saw quite a few fish actually come up and, and circle that. That was really cool. Yes. All right, so this fish may be a wild one. It's a, it's a nice fish. Yeah, I think he's wild. That's a good one. Man, very cool. One of the better wild fish I've caught out of this creek, honestly. But yeah, I cast it right towards the top of this, this deep stretch and I saw a lot of silver kind of flashing around it and he finally took it. That was, that was awesome. Good start. Fish. Looks like a little brown. Yep. There we go. Just a little guy, but much welcome. Love him. He took it uh, right under that under that rock there. Drifted right under there. He took the hairs here. See there being a trout in here, but you could also just see it being loaded with creek chubs. There we go. I think that's a trout. Came up, ate the dry. Is a holdover bow, it looks like. Guys, here we go, we got a bow. I'm pretty sure it's a stocked bow. Pretty sure. But man, if I didn't know any better, I would think this guy was wild. Pretty colors, fins look pretty good, but he's got a little bit of a stunted no nose. But I mean, it's a, it's a clean bow overall. There it goes. I'm pretty sure stock. I don't, I mean, I've never caught a wild rainbow in here. You never know, I guess. But that's the hardest to tell for me, it's rainbows. But we're gonna go stock and play it safe. Fish, nice. Oh, there he goes, came off. Sorry, I was just saying, I was surprised I wasn't getting bitten here. They're usually stacked. There's a nice little, little brown. There we go. That was cool. Dry fly eat. So like I said, very cool dry fly eat from this guy. So 
Send him back on his way. That was really cool. I watched him come up and chase that down the current. Let's get that dry again. Uh, I just wanted to get him back up in here into his hole. This low water, don't want him stranded. There he is. That was cool, man. He came out from that rock and just saw him come up and slurp that down. That was cool. Oh, that was cool. He did not waste much time eating that dry. There he is. Another nice little, little brown. It's turned out to be a pretty good day despite the water conditions, despite having to walk a ton. Um, not not uh, complaining about today, that's for sure. Decided to come down and, and hit one more spot here. I don't love this spot, but there are a couple holes I can catch a fish in. It'll only take me 30 minutes maybe to go through it. Um, the first spot, there's a reason I hit it early. Um, it was packed with people as I left. Um, just families swimming in the creek, fishing, all that stuff. So I think I got out of there just in time. Nobody's here at this place, this spot. So maybe we can uh, maybe grab one more or two fish before uh, before we get out of here for the day. That was a fail. I'm wrapping it up. I gotta go get some lunch. Calling it for the day, hope you guys enjoyed it. Really fun using these, this uh, dry dropper, especially getting most of the fish on the dry. That was even better. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time here on SC Outdoors.